Hi everyone, this is Lenny Fontana. I was approached by DJ Tudor with some questions from some of the fans as to how someone like myself becomes an international, well-respected, known DJ, record producer. So what I'm going to do is, in this segment, I'm going to have some of the questions I'm going to repeat that were given to me, and then I'm going to ex try to explain the answers as best as I can. So here's the first question. Question is, is it advisable to be dressed smart if you get the opportunity to meet the boss of a nightclub? Um, to be honest with you, it's like any other job. If you want to impress someone, you have to look the part. You have to think already that you have this job. It's it's kind of like knowing what you want, the picture or the view of it, and showing someone that there's confidence. But nowadays, the owner of a nightclub doesn't necessarily hire a DJ. It's more or less the promoters and knowing who's running the nights. That's the best way and the most important thing is impressing the promoter uh, with your look and and that you know what you're talking about because most of the promoters now are pretty clued up on what DJs and who's playing where. Um, the next question is, is it a good idea to have a mix on CD ready? Oh, of always. And also, make sure you have your details on it. That's important because there's been many moments where people have given me stuff just to play as a DJ and never gave me any details to contact them back. Um, it's a shame, and I've gotten some great records over the years. So yes, always put your, your stuff down uh, on the CD, details. Number three, should you offer to do a free set so the promoter can see what you like? Well, it depends on how bad you want the job. Um, you definitely, if, if, if it means a lot to you to get this job and he, he says to you, well, you know what, I want to try you out, and it's in your best interest uh, to definitely try. When I first started playing a long time ago, you did whatever you had to do. And if you love it that much, you'll, do, you'll make those provisions to go after it. So... My answer is, yeah, if it means that much to you to get this job and this is what you want, be prepared. It's, it's you know, not an easy career. How hard is, how, the, the fourth question I got is, how hard is it to actually get into a super club? Well, coming from nowhere, it's difficult. Um, because super clubs want names that can draw. If you can't really draw, because your name is not known, it's difficult. The most easiest and probably practical way to do something was um, is to st first start out maybe by getting a bar job or something where it's localized and a bit smaller. That would be my recommendation. And then honing your skills and becoming better and more comfortable playing with a crowd because if you've never played in a nightclub, and you don't know what's involved with being on a big sound system and understanding how to work a system and how to be a good programmer and know how to keep a crowd going, the best place to start is, I would say, the best place for you to would be is at this level is to get your, your chops really good. Because I'm gonna tell you now, there's a lot of great DJs out there. And you got to be ready to um, to be able to perform at your best. Because I always said this, you never know who's listening in the crowd. Many times I've had major DJs around me when I was playing and didn't know until later on they came up. But if I'm not in my best game, you know, that's the way it goes. Um, the next question I got is... What does it take to, to, to make this happen? 
to become a recognized international successful agent. Well, the first start is, is knowing your music. That's number one. Testing your market, which is, if, say you're playing at the bar, or you start as a mobile DJ, which a lot of us did start, and learn how to program. Then it was taking the skills of knowing how to work a crowd and going into a recording studio. So that's where the artist is born, the DJ. Because not only does the record producer make the records, he's now playing those records in those nightclubs. And that's where the international superstar DJ comes in. Because the records are being played on the radio. People are now around the world getting to know your name, not just in your neighborhood. So if that's meant for you to do that, to become a record producer, I do recommend you starting to set that up with the ideas of making it that you can make this step. It will make your life a lot easier if you start making some great records to get those big super club nights. Um, one other thing I can add to the whole lifestyles and tattoo DJ is that you have to be willing to, to really give up, you know, the idea of hanging out. You know, this is a lot of work. It's, it's a full-time job. You know, what we do as record producers, we're in the studio making records, but it's a business. It's not just, yes, the part of DJing is very fun, but most important part is making a great product that record labels are going to want and then pushing that record all the way so that you'll get the recognition that comes from it. At the end of all of this I have to say one thing. You must practice and enjoy it. Practice and enjoy. So again I'm Lenny Fontana and it's 2010, the summer of 2010, and my residency is at Space, and but yet I play all over the world, and I am a New York DJ, and you could you could check me out at www.lenny-fontana.com.